Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in today's episode, uh, we're going to go over the rescue of this trailer. This is the one that I teased a while back on Instagram that I was going to get fixed up. Right now, uh, this is how I found it. Just tucked away under an old boat arc tree or a horse apple tree. And from here, we had to pull it out, do a lot of work to it, but hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. I always keep my chains in an old ammo can. This way, if it rains, they're dry. The reason they're all shiny now is because, just like you guys have been being told by uh, Justin from Earth Good of the Land, CRC makes a great product. I don't remember which one this is, but this is the, one of their rust inhibitors. Um, I think it might be the, the general, purchase, general purpose rust inhibitor something. Here's another little tip. The hooks on my chain, spray paint orange or yellow, some bright obnoxious color. This way, if you have it tied to something, you can always find your chain. It's gonna stick out. It's gonna be real bright compared to everything else. The dirt, the mud, the, the road. This is what you want. You want something bright that you can see easily in your mirrors or simply if it just gets too dark. The bright orange is definitely going to stick out in low light. So, a little pro tip there.
hit it today with the plug a chaw method. Uh, plug a chaw method is where you don't really know what it is that you're doing, but you're going to do it anyway. Um, not real sure what size socket I need, so I brought a handful. There we go. And uh, be honest, this is my first time using a pneumatic ugga-dugga. Uh, Finally got the trailer finished up. Lots of spaces between the boards, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, I'm not going to be putting anything small on it. I don't plan on hauling gravel, hauling sand, anything like that where I'm worried about it falling through. Uh, tongue of the trailer I never did fix up to a two inch ball. Again, if we're just using it here around the, uh, around the property, it's not that big a deal to slide in a new hitch, pull out the old one, and go about my day. I do have a little mini bike that I'll probably end up putting a 1 and 7 8 ball on the back of and just using it as a, a little farm bike. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be great. Hauling it down the road sucks. <laughs> but I, I think as far as around the, uh, around the property, it's going to be just fine. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and uh, click like, subscribe, share it with your friends, spread the word. And in the future, uh, I, I have a couple ideas going. So stay tuned.